You've been lied to. You have been lied to. You've been told that having the girl, having the money, having the car, you've been told those things will make you happy. And if you've gotten those things, you know you're not happy. You know that was a lie. You know it. Now you have a choice, and this is a difficult choice, and this is the defining choice in most men's lives. Should you live together before you get married? The answer may surprise you. The answer is yes, if you want your relationship to be a complete dumpster fire. In this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly why it's a horrible idea to live with somebody before you're married. And I'm not even going to talk about the statistics. We all know the statistics. The divorce rate for people who live together before they're married are through the roof. This is just going to be a practical explanation as to why you're better than that. Look, your fiance, your boyfriend, your girlfriend is not a used car and you need to stop treating them like that. You can't test drive somebody before you marry them. And here's why. If you're going to say that you love somebody, you have to love them, not their beauty, not their money, not their sense of style or their charisma. You have to love that person because one day the beauty is going to go away. We all age, we all get old, we all lose hair, our hair turns gray, we all get old. One day, the money could go away. One day, the conversation could go away. One day, somebody's memory could go away. If you're going to say that you love somebody, you have to love them for who they are, not any of their attributes, not any of their characteristics. And if you're living with somebody before you're married, what you're doing is you're saying, I love what you do for me. I love what you're doing for me. And if that stops, then I'm out. Look, love demands eternity. It's not just flowery language when you say, I'm going to love you forever. That's meant to be there. That's instilled in the human heart. There's something about love that screams out for eternity, for permanence, for absolute permanence. And so if you're going to say to somebody, oh, I love you forever, but you're living with them before you're married, what you actually mean is, as long as you please me, I'll keep you around. I love what you do for me, and so I'm willing to keep you around. Look, this is the key. You have to understand this. The greatest tragedy in Western civilization is that men die mediocre. And why do they die mediocre? Because nobody tells them how great they could be. Listen, if you're a man and you're watching this, you could be a saint. You could lay your life down for your fellow man. You could be the hero in your own story. You could be. You really could be. But you're not. You're not because you've been lied to. You've been lied to and told that comfort, pleasure, sex, money, these things are what you should seek after and you've bought the lie. Listen, stop. You don't have to believe that anymore. You could be whatever you want to be and you could be Christ-like. You could be the next saint and hero. But if you're living for yourself and you're living selfishly, then you'll never, never sacrifice for your fellow man. Listen, love demands sacrifice. It feeds on sacrifice. And if you were just living for yourself and you were the only creature that you're actually loving, that's why you feel isolated and alone and purposeless. You were not made to please yourself. That's not what you were made for. You were made to serve God and to give your life away as a gift to your fellow man. That's what you were made for. And if you're living with somebody before you're married, you're living contrary to your nature. You're living selfishly. You're living for yourself. Stop that. It's not good for you. Listen, I don't hate anybody who's watching this if you're living with a girlfriend or boyfriend. I don't hate you at all. I just recognize how great you could be and that there's something silly in the way. And I'm not villainizing your girlfriend or boyfriend who's living with you. I'm sure they're a wonderful person, but they don't realize how much damage they're doing to you. If you're living with your girlfriend or boyfriend right now, this is a wake-up call. This is your sign. Start finding a way to move out, to separate yourself from that situation. It's not good for you. It's not good for you. Because let's be real. You say you want to live with them for lower rent costs. You don't want to live with them for that. No. If you wanted to live with lower rent costs, you would get four or five of your male buddies and you guys would all room together in a house and you would pay dirt cheap rent. You don't want to live with your girlfriend for the rent costs. That's baloney. That's garbage. You know it is. Don't lie to yourself. What's going on here? What's going on is that you've been lied to. You have been lied to. You've been told that having the girl, having the money, having the car, you've been told those things will make you happy. And if you've gotten those things, you know you're not happy. You know that was a lie. You know it. 
Now you have a choice, and this is a difficult choice, and this is the defining choice in most men's lives. You either choose to ignorantly shove your head in the sand and believe the lie anyway because you're already here, or you wake up and you reject your past. You reject those lies. You put on Christ and you continue forward. You start moving in the right direction. You turn around. And that's the most difficult thing any man will ever do. But that is what you were made for. That's what you were made for. You could be the next great saint. All you have to do is start today. Change your life today. Start to pray and say, Lord, I need your grace. I need your help. I am not enough. Please help me. And he will. He will. One more note on marriage. Marriage is for the sake of raising children. That's what marriage is for. It's for the sake of you raising children and sanctifying your spouse. If you're living with somebody and living like a married couple, you're not able to raise children well, and you're not able to sanctify the person that you're with. Both of the ends of marriage are thwarted. They're done. You are living in that situation strictly for yourself, and you know it. You know it. But now you have the power to change it. You have an opportunity to change it. Make a decision right now. Send a text message right now. Make a phone call right now. Try to set something in place that's going to get you out of that situation because it's hurting you. It's hurting you more than you know. 50 years from now, your children and grandchildren are going to be speaking at your funeral. And they're going to get up there and they're going to say what every child and every grandchild has ever said about their grandpa or father. They're going to say, so-and-so was a good man. Will they be lying? If you live for yourself, you will die alone. If you live for yourself, your children will lie at your funeral and say that you were a good man. You have to get this right. Because it's not just your life that's being affected. You have no idea how much power you have to change, to impact, to influence the lives of thousands of people around you. You living for yourself doesn't just hurt you. You living for yourself damages the entire world. And you know it does. You know it. So listen right now, brother or sister, if you're listening to this, I love you. I want you to go to heaven with me forever. And not only that, I want you to be happy and have peace in this life as well. And you will not find that from your boyfriend or girlfriend. You won't find it there. There is one place that you will find it. And that is in Jesus Christ and in the Holy Catholic Church. Repent. Go to confession. Repent. Come back into communion with the church. Come back to Mary, our mother, and say, I need you. I need your help, please. And they will help you. Jesus and Mary are faithful and they are generous. If you give them even your smallest prayer, they will hear it and answer it. And they will start today. Lord Jesus Christ, I ask you to bless everyone watching this video. I ask you to wash them in your blood and give them the grace of repentance. Do not let them believe the lie of the devil that they were made for worldly pleasure and for worldly goods. Open their eyes, open their hearts, fill them with grace and with goodness so that they may repent and return to you to be with you forever. And I'll close with this. Look, I'm not better than you. I'm not better than you at all. But I've been given eyes to see. I have been able to see through all of these lies that we've been told since we were children. That's a grace from God. And I beg you and I challenge you today. Turn your life around. Act as if what I'm saying is true and see if you don't feel peace. Just try it. And if you want to know what to do right now, start praying the rosary daily. If you pray the rosary daily, your mortal sins will go away. You will find peace and you will find happiness.